one of the uh, more famous sportscasters in America. He used to do sports on this program. Now does it uh, over WABC for Curtis and Kuby. Uh, the great Warner Wolf. Good morning, Mr. Wolf. Hey, I'm in. How are you? All right. Wait a minute. Where's Bill from White Plains? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I miss, I'm in. What? I miss you yelling at me after going in your production studio. <laughs> Get him out of my studio. You're fired. You know, here's the thing uh, that's, uh, that uh, would we'll give you some pause, Warner. Yeah. Is that when uh, Bernard typed your name name on my screen here, he misspelled your last name. <laughs> no. Yeah. Come w- on, Bernard. <laughs> so, uh, Jeez, weak. Warner, take me back to, I can't remember exactly what happened. I mean, I, mean, I know what happened that morning. But uh, uh, when you called us, where you were, well, just tell me what happened, where you were when you called us and all that. Well, uh, the first of all, the reason I was home was, I, I don't know if you recall, five years ago, uh, I was doing the show uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Sid was doing it Tuesday and Thursday. So I was home uh, on th- Tuesday. That's the only reason I was home. Right. And uh, the first thing I remember uh, my wife and I used to live at North Moore Street uh, in Tribeca, which was about 10 blocks from the Trade Center. And uh, we would just look out the bedroom window, and uh, you, you could see uh, the Trade Centers. We used to look at it every night. I mean, it was such a, a beautiful sight. And the first thing I remember, about 8.45, uh, I heard this plane go over uh, the roof of our building. We used to live in the penthouse. And I said to my wife, what the hell was that? I mean, it was so close, it, 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 rattled, it rattled the building. Uh, so my wife uh, opened the bedroom curtains, and she says, you won't believe this. At first we heard a, a, some kind of noise. She said, there's a hole in one of the towers. And so I got up, I looked out, and my gosh, there's a hole. And we thought, as most people did at the time, that it was, well, God, what an accident. Somebody flew off course and hit the towers. And But then you would see the fire and the smoke and the worst people jumping from the building. It was, it was just horrible. And then, uh, of course, I guess it was about nine minutes later, the second plane hit from the other side. Uh, and I went to I went to the roof and watched it, and I, I of course I was I called you on the phone. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, and then to see that second tower just collapse, I, it was like a slow motion. I, you know, you, you can see it on television, but there's just when you see something in person, you know, there's no frames around your eyes. It's you're you're the camera. It's just totally different, and it's it's probably the I would say the worst thing I, I I've ever seen. It just uh, I I tell you the truth I I don't need uh, I I still I turn away when they show it on television today. I don't look at it. I remember you were live with us on the air when the building came down. Yeah, first one. Yeah, it was. I just uh, you know I'm my wife when I was talking to you, uh, I was becoming very emotional and it. My wife actually had to uh, kind of punch my arm and say, "You know, you you have to compose yourself. You're you're an eyewitness," and so it kind of uh, jogged me. Uh, but uh, well, Charles and I, and uh, all of us have talked for years about how not to patronize you, but how marvelous you were and professional in the in the, in in the face of this obvious disaster and we didn't know at that time as you remember what the hell was going on whether you know whether the whole country was under attack and you had you know the pentagon you had the plane in pennsylvania i mean it happened a little later but not not much later no nobody knew uh, what was happening and uh i, I think the other thoughts that uh, i still remember uh uh, right after that, uh, because I lived on North Moore Street, right off West Side Highway, uh, and everything was closed off except for the fire engines and emergency vehicles, uh, th- they needed things like blankets and socks. And I, I remember my wife and I loaded up uh, 
uh, suitcases full of uh, blankets and socks and uh, took them to this building. Uh, the firemen had to keep changing their socks, you know, like, like every five minutes or so. And uh, just to see the firemen walking, coming back, I mean, they were just covered with soot. They just, you know, it, it, you looked at somebody and it was like uh, soot with a person uh, underneath it. Uh, and the smoke, I don't know, you know, if you, if you I think if you weren't there, maybe it's good you weren't there, but if you were there, the, the smoke, I don't, it just engulfed everything. And I remember the, that day the wind was blowing toward uh, Brooklyn and Staten Island. So uh, otherwise, if the wind had been blowing north, uh, more of the city would have been covered. Uh, by the smoke, but the, the the fire was just, you know, I I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I don't want to see it again. Talking with Warner Wolf from WABC, Warner, of course, uh, had a unique uh, uh, view of this um, of the destruction of the World Trade Centers and uh, was on the air with us for oh, almost most of that day. Well, what did do you remember what you thought? I mean, I know you were. You were watching this, obviously, and you were telling us about it. But what did what were you thinking? Oh, I, I was I was uh, I was afraid. I was uh, because you didn't know what else happened. And then, uh, of course, uh, you heard the reports of uh, the uh, Pentagon, and the, and then the the other plane unfortunately went down in Pennsylvania. And you wondered, well, wait a minute, what what else? What else? And, and also there was an anger. It was like these SOBs, I, you know, what a... Yeah. And then you thought, you, you realize what they did. They took, they, they hit us with missiles, but, but they used our planes as the missiles. They were absolutely missiles. We were hit by missiles, but unfortunately they, they were our own planes. I never thought when this was until you described it. It was the South Tower, I guess, that came down first. Well, what tower came down first, Charles? Good morning, do you remember? The South Tower. Okay. The, the right. one that was hit uh, right. second, second, yes. Yeah. But we never, uh, just in, the, in, in, the, uh, in those minutes and moments and hours that this was all going on, I don't think anybody considered until it did come down that it would come down. No, right. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. I don't think, uh, you know, these were... Uh, the structures that w- would never come down, and, right. and man, when they came, oh, but you know, I saw it collapse. It, w- you know, like uh, Im- imploded. You know, the, the you see stadiums imploded, and it just kept going down and down. I said, oh my God, you know, just. Do you I, uh, you still live in the city? Yes. Yeah, we do too. Uh, you ever thought about moving? Uh, out of the city? No. 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 I love the city. I do too, and of course I've lived here for thirty years. And I, every once in a while, though, we discuss it, but we we decide that uh, well, we're not going to. So. No. Uh, everything else all right with you? Yeah, yeah. If you, I'll uh, I'll tell you one thing though. I'm uh, changing the subject, if that's all right. Sure. Uh, I saw uh, Katie Couric's first show, and uh, I, th- I thought CBS put her in a bad position when. When they uh, forced her to ask the viewers for a sign-off, my my thought was, geez, what CBS bozo had that idea? <laughs> and then and then I said, well, wait a minute, I've got a suggestion for you, Katie. How about this? Uh, this is Katie Couric. Uh, good night and good grief. <laughs> what, what have I done? These guys are incompetent. They must have come from Channel 2. <laughs> Thanks, Warner. Okay. Thank Thanks you. for doing this. All right, I'm in. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, Warner Wolf from WABC here in New York Radio. Uh, and um, I'll always, I've never listened to the tape of that morning, nor will I. Uh, well, I just wouldn't listen to it. But boy, he was remarkable. Absolutely. It was terrific then in re- recalling it. Because yeah. he was right there. Yeah. Ten blocks away. And who knew what was going on? And I remember when he got a little emotional, but. Yeah. Managed to pull himself together, but you know, just I can still hear his voice when the tower came down. As I can too. 
I mean, I've thought about that for, yeah. and I've thought about those people forever. Yeah. 